Next, check out the technique, The Extraordinary Lives of Ordinary People. We speak to Dr. Shaka Cunningham, a brother doing research on HIV and cancer. I go to work every day trying to cure cancer and cure AIDS. What do basketball players like uh, Allen Iverson and, and LeBron James and I all have in common? Well, we're all young African-American males. We're working and living in America. The only difference is that they shoot jump shots and dunks in the NBA, and I do HIV research. Hey, coming from a single-parent home, essentially, um, where you don't have many financial resources, your drive is to get those financial resources. I had to really take money out of the equation and say, what would I do if I weren't getting paid for it? What would I feel good about getting up out of the bed every morning and doing? And, and that answer, the answer to that question was research. It was science. It was discovery. My grandmother worked at the National Cancer Institute for over 30 years. So when I was a child, she would take me to the lab with her. But it wasn't until I was a teenager, your age, where HIV really started coming about. I think it's about your role models and the influences you have as a child that get you started in that field. That's why it's really a big part of what I'd like to do as I continue to grow in my career is to reach out to the younger generation and tell them that you are needed here. Your ideas and your creativity are really needed to try to address some of these big medical problems because we don't have all the answers yet. So the cure for AIDS could come from you. Science as a whole suffers from an image issue. And I don't think that you have to be some type of dry or, or uptight person just because you work in a lab. And if I can make it cool uh, to be a scientist to a kid, I'll be really, really happy about that because I think it's really cool. I can't think of a, a cooler thing to do than to try to cure AIDS every day.